first, take out of all items from the package. Package includes manual, monitor, windshield bracket, cigarette lighter adapter, taxi power cable, power cord, antenna, solar backup camera. The camera is magnetic and can be easily installed at a suitable location in the vehicle. The camera angle can be flexibly adjusted. Connect one end of the cigarette lighter adapter to the monitor. Insert the cigarette lighter into the cigarette lighter outlet. Press the red button. The red button lights up. There is a power button on the side of the camera. The camera is turned off by default when shipped from the factory. Press the power button to start the camera. The blue indicator light lights up. The image appears in the screen. The test finished. The camera mount is removable but will arrive fully installed. Align the bracket with the hole on the back of the monitor and snap it in. After adjusting the angle, tighten the screw, install one of the antennas to the monitor. Tear off the protective film at the bottom of the bracket. You can install it on the dashboard or windshield and pull down the buckle to fix it. Insert the cigarette lighter into the cigarette lighter outlet. Connect one end of the cigarette lighter adapter to the monitor. Press the red button. The red button lights up. Press the power button to start the camera. The blue indicator light lights up. The camera is magnetic and can be easily installed at a suitable location on the vehicle. The image appears in the screen. The first icon on the screen is the solar charging icon. This icon appears to indicate that the camera is using solar power for charging. The second icon on the screen is the battery indicator. When charging with a USB cable, the battery will move. The third icon on the screen is the signal icon. The monitor is gesture sensing. Slowly bring your palm close to the gesture sensitive button on the monitor to shut down the system. Slowly bring your palm close to the gesture sensitive button on the monitor to wake the system. There are three buttons on the back of the monitor. Plus key, menu key, minus key. Press the M key to switch to the brightness. Press the up or down key to adjust the brightness. Press M key to switch to time setting. Press the up or down key to select the manual mode. You can adjust 30S, Full YS, Thing S, 90S, and turn this function on or off. Press the M key to switch to the saturation. Press the up or down key to adjust the saturation. Press the M key to switch to the contrast. Press the up or down key to adjust the contrast. Press the M key to switch to the flip image mode. Press the up or down key to select the image mode you need. Press M key to switch to the image enlargement. Press the up key to adjust the width of the guideline. Press the down key to adjust the height of the guideline. Press M key to switch to the image movement. Press the up or down key to, to move the image left or right. Press the M key to switch to the guideline. Press the up or down key to turn on or off the guideline. Press the M key to quit the menu mode. Press the M key to switch to the pair. Press the up key to enter the pairing. 
press the power button to turn on the camera. If the camera is already on, ignore the step. Then quickly press the power button twice until the status light flashes quickly. The image appears on the monitor, indicating that the pairing is successful. The camera's status light is blue and does not blink. The process of connecting the camera to the lamp line. T-taps. T-taps has two holes and one hole is closed. The long line is the line of the lamp or the circuit line on the car. Thrust the car light line into the first hole. camera power cord. Plug the power cord into the second hole. Iron sheets. Clamp the iron sheet to the tap's bottom.